Yes, I'm back. And right now I'm talking about the evil Albinoid Savage kicker for the New York Giants. Who uh, came out, I think, either yeah yesterday admitting to verbally, physically, and uh, emotionally abusing his wife. Well, his ex-wife now. And he's probably sexually abused her too. Because he is a sexual deviant. Articles in the description. I'll just read to you guys. Bombshell documents released Wednesday portrayed Josh Brown, in his own words, of those of his ex-wife as being a serial abuser and a sexual deviant who terrorized his spouse. The Giants kicker admitted to physically, emotionally, verbally abusing Molly Brown, now his ex-wife, numerous times in journal entries, counseling exercises, and court documents. The, f- the forms were submitted as evidence by Brown's ex-wife and released by the Kings County Washington Sheriff Office. Brown was arrested in May 2015 and charged with fourth degree domestic violence. The charge in Woodenville, Washington was later dismissed and Brown was suspended for the opening game of this season rather than the baseline six games in the NFL levies for a first domestic violence offense. The Giants declined comment Wednesday night. The NFL did not respond to the post request for comment. Documents obtained by the Post Brown confessed to serially abusing women since he was a child after the league handed him one game penalty. Brown downplayed the incident led to the charges. To the charges just a moment. Police documents later revealed Molly had accused him more than 20 times instances of domestic violence. Let's stop right there. Because this man... This savage, his uh, his ex-wife has called police over 20 times complaining about his devil, demonic, savage abuse towards her. But, you know, the NFL covered it up because he's European. But, you know, if this was Mike Vick, Ray Rice... Um, Deshaun Jackson, anybody with melanin skin in the NFL, this would have been all over you heard. Stephen Coon Smith going on and on. We just heard everybody running them up, talking about how the black man is so abusive and this is in his nature. But really, it's the other fucking way around. You don't never hear the media bash this cave monkey devil. Digressing and continuing. In an email he wrote, in March 2014, a friend as, two friends as part of his marriage counseling, he reviewed how deep-rooted his problems were at, attributing them in part of being abused at as a six-year-old. I've been a liar for the most of my life, he wrote. I made selfish decisions to use and abuse women starting at age seven to fill this boy. I objectified women and never really worried about the pain and I hurt. And hurt I caused them. My ability to connect emotionally to other people was zero. My empathy levels were zero. In one handwritten journal entry, Brown circled the words, I've abused my wife. I became an abuser and hurt Molly physically, emotionally, and verbally. Brown wrote, I viewed myself as God, basically, and she was my slave. I carried an overwhelmingly sense of entitlement because I put money higher than God and I used his power. See, I told, let me stop right here. I told y'all. See, that statement right there already got me thinking he's a white supremacist. Talking about he's God. Because, you know, they flipped the, flip the image of God to be white. And since they are white, he's a suspected white supremacist. He felt like he was God. And you hear what he said? He used her as a slave? What's wrong with y'all, Albinoid devils? Y'all really got a sickness, a mental disorder. So I say we need to segregate ourselves from Europeans. If he did this to his wife, he did this to a black person. Digressing and continuing. And a handwritten note by Molly as part of a Jermaine about her, her then husband. She included that Brown tells me he pushes, shoves, hits me because I challenge him. In a counseling document titled Contract of Change, Brown admitted to eight wrongdoings against his wife, including I've controlled her. My... my SIC making her 
feel less human than me and manipulated her with money and that he has been a horrible husband and stepfather. Brown, 37, has one child with Molly, has two children from a prior relationship and one passage in the email. The Queen 13 expressed concern for his children as he seemingly could not help himself. Again, stop right there. See, he got children with multiple women. You know, if this was a melanoid man in the NFL, like Antonio Cromartie, who they try to shit on in uh, blog, blogs and stuff. Oh, he got 13 kids and six different baby mamas. They always talking about baby mama drama with black people. But this savage, he got baby mamas. You don't hear that narrative of, see, see this is... This is uh, in European nature to make children and neglect them and not take care of their responsibilities. Black men, we, we just go around putting sperm in different type, different women and we just neglect the children. It's not all black men, not all melanoid men. There are a lot, unfortunately. There are some melanoid men who uh, don't step up to the plate and don't raise their children and be... Uh, and they're not good fathers to their children. But we had that discussion another day. How that was caused by the government. And y'all always calling us. No good fathers. Deadbeat dads. But y'all set the example in slavery. When y'all were strong arming our ancestors for the pussy. And neglecting your mulatto sons and daughters. Y'all can miss me with that fuckery. Digressing and continue. I'm sure there were several moments of panic for the boys and wondering if they were in a safe place in a safe place with me, Brown wrote. I'm sure you are afraid to tell me how you truly felt because you feared my reaction. I struck fear in your heart, not love, comparison, compassion, or friendship. From the bruise on your leg when we argued to the zipper that caught you last April, I am ashamed and disgraced to call myself a husband. These are actions of a husband who does not and that does not deserve someone to take care of. The documents of off the documents offer a disturbing inside look at Brown. A devout Christian. I ain't even gonna touch on that. And in constant struggle over his identity, he owned up to many sins from abusing to viewing pornographic pornography, excuse me, and how they have offended God. And one year old Brown said he had sex. He had a sex addiction. Addiction. I developed into a sexual deviant that views sex as a sport. Almost, he wrote. In the diaries, Brown detailed how his own insecurities led him to abuse others. I've always thought of myself as a god, but since all I think about is sex, I pick the person I know I can manipulate, Brown wrote. Brown has been in, with the Giants since 2013 NFL since 2003. He's one game suspension was a result of the league's incident. Excuse me. Insufficient information of all allegations because Molly would not cooperate with his investigation. Brown, a pro bowler, 2015. Yeah, I don't give a shit about his stats. And yeah, that's pretty much it on that article. You see how the NFL works, how they covered this savage acts up. But you know, if this was LeBron James. Um, Adrian Peterson, anybody black playing sports, you would have heard this story all over. But since he's European and that wouldn't fit their white supremacist narrative on how the black man is this, that, evil, deadbeat, criminal thug, they don't report on this on their white supremacist platforms on the TV. They just put out little articles on Google. But we ain't going for this shit no more. We're going to keep finding these stories and letting the public how know how the white supremacist media works, how they cover up their European counterparts and just put make excuses. Well, he made a mistake. He owned up and apologized, and he served in one-game suspension. Just like they covered up Ben Rapelessberger, who robbed them two girls for their pussy a couple years ago. He's friends with Trump. They probably discussed 
pussy larceny story together. Covered up Peyton Manning when he was a sophomore or a junior or whatever, and when he played for Tennessee in college, when he put when he put his dick and balls on that female trainer's face, teabagged her basically, and they paid her off. You, you, we don't hear too much about these stories because it doesn't fit the narrative of the white supremacist media platform. But like I said before. You're going to keep exposing you crackers for your evil, demonic, devil ways. Like I saw it say, the article's in the description. Check it out. Get in the comments. Like, subscribe. Share the video.